Tonight I dine on turtle soup. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. What's going on, everybody? Gem Mint here with another statue unboxing and review. And this time from PCS, we have their quarter scale shredder from their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series line. Huge box on the table. I'm super excited for this guy. I'm loving this line so far. And this is the first non-turtle character that we have out of the line so without wasting any time make sure to hit that like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and let's jump into it all right guys big box on the ground no tape removing the straps let's lift off the lid and boom shredder with all the pieces below removing the paper the plastic let's take a look at the bottom of this base number 225 out of 300 this is the exclusive and here we go, you have a destroyed Technodrome base matching the other pieces of the line. You can see the wheels and you can see the top platform, nice kind of shadowing and shading. And then on the back you have this Mouser. That's a nice little Easter egg there. Here we have the cape and it's what you would expect out of an animated series paint job. It does still have black shadowing as you can see, nice fold sculpted in. And I like how the inside has a different color, a little bit more of a bluish purple, if you will. Big cape. And then we have uh, some switch outs. Here is a left hand. Love the Wolverine inspired spikes. You have the sword and the skin tone, which is also kind of flat on purpose. As we see on the two regular hand switch outs, it's an animated series paint job, and that's what it looks like. And here we have the exclusive Krang on FaceTime, way ahead of their time in the animated series back in the 80s, but a very cool nod to another one of the villains, his master, if you will. Same great spikes, dull metallic shine. And then here we have the body, very ninja-like outfit. You have the grays and the blacks. You can see the loincloth, uh, the shin guards with those spikes on them, the black boots. Moving up, we can see the armor and where the cape will key into. And then the portrait. So it's the only humanoid character out of this line so far, and I think they did a really good job, man. It's popping out of the cartoon. I like the skin tone. They didn't go overboard with realism on the paint job. It looks like it's supposed to look. Love the helmet, love the mask. And let's go ahead and get Shredder keyed in. So pretty easy. You have pegs on both feet. You're gonna line them up. He feels like he's leaning back a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put that cape on, which will go over and notch into his back. That's easy enough. Switching around, we'll put some hands in there. We'll start with the regular hands without any weapons or iPhones. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put his portrait in there. All right, beautiful. So there we go, that shredder. And uh, we'll play around with the switch outs a little bit here. And you can do you know, both hands removed and put the weapons in there, or you could just do one or the other. So there's a couple different combinations you can do. But there we go. So Shredder all assembled. Let's get a better look at this guy in frame with me. But before we continue, I want to thank that Spider-Man booth for sponsoring this video. Make sure you're following them over on Whatnot for daily live comic book auctions. You could win CGC key issues and get some great exclusive variants from their sister site, Street Level Hero. If you haven't, you can download Whatnot in the link in the description. It'll actually give you a $10 credit that you can use towards your first purchase. All right, guys, and here we have it, the Quarter Scale Shredder by PCS from the Animated Series line. I love this line, man. I'm sorry I'm not able to show you him next to the Turtles because we do have those boxed up right now. But when we move into the new house, we'll do the whole setup and display. So tallest point of Shredder is definitely going to be with the sword switch out, which is going to make him just shy of 25 inches tall he would only be about 23 inches tall without the sword looking at the width you're looking at about 14 inches the depth is about 13 inches and this retailed 630 dollars for the exclusive which has the krang on com switch out like i said the iphone facetime switch out big fan of this piece i like it a lot more in person than i did from pictures i thought he was gonna feel leaned back even when you key him in you get that vibe but if you look at him here with his foot forward more and the weight and angle that he's facing, he's not leaning back at all. I love the shredder design here. The base, like I said, matching the rest of the turtles from the line. It's got a very flat gray color, but there was some shading and highlights there. A muddy base with this destroyed, uh, I guess you would call it a piece of the Technodrome. You can see the wheels and everything's broken. The mouse are in the back. Uh, with Shredder on top, so maybe he's busted out of the Technodrome that's been destroyed and he's ready to face the Turtles head on. 
I mean, the look is ripped out of the animated series. It's exactly what you would want out of that. So I think that they absolutely crushed it. The colors are flat, but there is subtle uh, shading like I showed you guys on the cape. But on the costume itself, on the black, it's solid. The skin tone is pretty solid. But the sculpt, like especially on his front, his chest, his abdominals, um, really gives you that high quality premium statue feel. It doesn't feel like a PVC version of a statue. It still feels like a premium collectible. And I mentioned the only humanoid character out of this line. They killed the eyes, the brown eyes look great. Love the mask and the portrait. The dull metallic shine on the armor looks great. And, and I just think they killed it. I mean, what more can you say? If you want a cartoon statue, this is exactly what you would picture. I think it has a nice footprint to it and I cannot wait to pair him with the rest of the turtles. Looking forward to Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang. And I'm hearing that they might continue this line. I thought Krang would be the last, but if we can get a Casey Jones, April O'Neil, Personal favorites would be Slash and Metalhead for me, but I'm not expecting those. Splinter is a must as well. Super happy with this piece. Let me know what you guys think about Shredder in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'm going to leave you with him spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh. Peace.